In this video, I'll be guiding you guys on how to fix Tesla AC not working. So let's get started. So first of all, I need you to guide yourselves onto this website, tesla.com slash owners manual and select the car that you own. And then proceed to choose the language that you're most compatible with. Now you'll be redirected to a page with a bunch of options to the left. Here, I want you to click on the climate dropdown option and then click on operating climate controls. Here, you'll find a bunch of options about ACs uh, for Teslas and stuff like that, okay? Air conditioning and all that kind of stuff. So I want you to have a good uh, have a good read at this. And if that helps you fix your problem, that's great. If it doesn't, I do have a couple more fixes to share with you, okay? So first, make sure the AC is actually turned on. Open the climate control menu on your touchscreen and check if the temperature is set correctly. If it's too high, lower it and see if the air starts cooling. Also, ensure that auto mode is enabled as this helps regulate airflow and temperature efficiently. Sometimes the issue isn't with the AC itself but with the airflow. Try increasing the fan speed manually. If air is coming out but isn't cold, move on to the next step. Also, check if any vents are closed or blocked. A simple reset can often fix minor software glitches. To do this, hold on both scroll wheels on the steering wheel for about 10 seconds until the Tesla logo appears on the screen. Once the system reboots, test the AC again. Go to Softwares in the Settings menu and see if there's an update available. Sometimes, Tesla releases patches that fix bugs related to climate controls. If there's an update, install it and test the AC again. A clogged air filter can reduce airflow and affect cooling. Tesla recommends replacing the cabin air filter every couple of years. If you notice a musty smell or weak airflow, it may be time to change it. Listen for the compressor when you turn on the AC. If you don't hear a humming or a buzzing sound from the front of the car, the compressor might not be working properly. This could indicate a refrigerant issue or a more serious mechanical failure. Sometimes the car will display a warning if there is a deeper issue with the HVAC system. If you see any error messages, take a screenshot or knock them down as they can help diagnose the problem. If none of these steps fix the issue, it's best to schedule a service appointment through the Tesla app. Tesla technicians can run a remote diagnostic and let you know if there is a hardware issue that needs repair. So, that'll be for this video. I hope it helps you guys out and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.